Hello, I am Blue, and today we are going to talk about new Intrinsics farm. Intrinsics is a form of affinity used for Railjacks to rank up Railjack skills. Affinity boost can be acquired from server side like Affinity Weeks or Daily Reward or from player side which is what you get from sorties or even Relay Mastery 30 Blessings. They can stack and increase your Intrinsics farm efficiency. With remove of the Gian Point mission one of the fast ways to get Intrinsics easily has been gone, but there are some other good ways with the new Corpus missions. I'll suggest you go solo Intrinsics farm with Ivara doing Extermination Endless mode which we will explain. But alternatively you can do Defense mission for fast Intrinsics as well with a squad combo like Speedva, Mesa, Rhino Buff, Mirages, Explosive Legiment, as well. With Solo Ivara you will get around 80 to 150 intrinsics per run without Affinity Booster. With each round 30 to 50 minutes. Depends how clean the run goes and how lucky you get with Smita Kavot Charm buffs. With Double Affinity and Blessing will be X4. Meaning up to 400 to 600 per run. For Solo Ivara this is the build I will use. Nothing special about it. The main thing you want to have is low duration sleep. My preference is around 6 seconds but you can use whatever you're comfortable with. And for having energy I use preparation mode since I'm using Naramon Focus, not Zenuric, with its passive ability which gives more affinity with melee kills. For Arcanes I use Arcane Energize and Arcane Strike which will keep my energy up and give more speed to finisher animation. But you can use Arcane Trickery as well for more invisibility time so you can run with Ivara rather than rolling. You can use untraceable mode for Parazin as well since you have some terminal hacking to do as well. For weapons I tested a lot but found daggers and hammers to be faster and more reliable to use. My preference was dagger since it has fast animation and you can finish humanoids from front or back without losing stealth kill bonus affinity. I'll use rock to dark dagger here since it's the only one I maximize but the best one will be Zar critic built daggers which combos will be high with the Naramon focus we are using. For companion I use Smita Kavitz for the charm that has a 1 out of 6 buffs which is bonus affinity buff, 1 out of 5 if you're using only melee since you won't have primary or secondary equipped to get the reload buff. Ok now let's get to Railjack. If you're new to Railjack and don't have good ship or crew I suggest parking Railjack far away and fly to targets with Archwing. Or get crew as fast as possible with good repair and endurance rate and have, Void Cloak. For others that have good ship and crew. My preference was having a Lich's Defender. One Engineer and one Gunner. While they're doing side missions their Gunner can kill other ships easily with good turret and give you some parts as well. For ship I use these parts and mods. Ok let's get into missions. The best missions for solo is Valcorpus Extermination Calabash since it has highest level of enemies among the exterminations. What you have to do on side objects is to clear rooms then start the side objects. Especially the terminal defense type which more targets will spawn after clearing the rooms and that means more affinity. And for main object which is extermination the enemy is alerted when you enter so even getting invisible and killing enemies after sleep won't give you affinity bonus. The trick to do this is run in the map and let enemy alert via terminal. After that, hack terminal and an enemies will go back to being unalerted and you can enjoy the stealth kill affinity bonus. You can either run to last room before making enemies unalerted to make enemies all near each other or just kill them along the way. For the last part don't enter the extraction room. If you enter there it's more likely for enemies to stop spawn after you finished extermination. You can spawn enemies after extermination on the last two room of the map. The enemies spawn endlessly but I suggest you extract and start over after 40 to 50 minutes. On the last room mostly there will be 5 to 10 enemies which will spawn endlessly. 
about the problems, sometimes robots will have an issue and you won't be able to use finisher on them. I suggest leaving them for being last enemies to kill to make them despawn and not break the stealth affinity bonus chain. You can either put them to sleep and strike them which mostly on break affinity chain. Same goes for the drones and the new spiders but chances of breaking affinity chain is higher on them. Well that's all about Avara Solo Extermination Endless Mode, and Defense Missions, I thank everyone who made recording this video possible. I hope you enjoyed this video and found some useful methods. If you did, like and subscribe, and put on notification for new content. Good luck.